James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is August 16th, 2022, folks. It's 3 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. In breaking news, NASA and NOAA have sounded the alarm. It turns out that NASA and NOAA are both worried about a possible cannibal CME generated from the three M flares yesterday. Now, for those of you that don't know what a cannibal CME is, it means that one CME comes in and clears the path for the next one, or that one behind another one actually arrives at the same time as the first one, creating a double whammy. Well, that was three M flares yesterday, a one, two, three punch. Now, this alarm was sounded before before the M5.1 flare and associated coronal mass ejection today. And they are worried about that, as you all will see in their update. Now, this model does not account for the new CME, uh, but it does account for the two or three Earth-facing or CMEs with an Earth component that occurred yesterday. They do have an update at the end, though. Quote, on August 14th, a dark plasma eruption hurled one CME towards Earth. On August 15th, an exploding magnetic filament launched another CME right behind it. The two CMEs will arrive together on August 18th, probably the 17th here in the U.S. Central Time. According to the latest forecast model from NOAA, which you're looking at here, folks, this could become a cannibal CME event. In other words, the second CME might overtake and gobble up the first, creating a mishmash of the two. Really, we're talking about four CMEs now. Cannibal CMEs contain tangled magnetic fields and compressed plasma that sometimes spark strong geomagnetic storms. And they're talking about only two flares i'll show those right now believe it or not this on the 14th is the filament release that they're referring to and then this stronger m flare here that happened yesterday is their second earth face and cme the problem they have with that is there are three more m class solar flares that may or should have associated cmes so are we talking about four plus this one, five, arriving on the 18th? Lord, I hope not, folks. Y'all hold on. This is going to be some ride. All right. So as of now, NOAA and NASA forecasters have updated their prediction of the cannibal CME. NOAA forecasters have upgraded their geomagnetic storm watch from a Category 2 moderate to Category 3 strong in response to models that suggest multiple CME impacts on August 18th. During such storms, naked eye auroras can descend into the U.S. as far south as Illinois or Oregon at latitudes of around 50 degrees. So folks, they're expecting a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 punch now unbelievable this comes out and they're saying the 18th but it might be late tomorrow when the fun starts again it does look like we have five at least five maybe six inbound cmes and it looks like they may all arrive at the same time which could cause a very very strong geomagnetic storm as they've indicated in their update. Now this was released just minutes ago. If you'll please note it says minor to strong geomagnetic storm watches from the 17th, 18th, and 19th of August, just as I indicated. And they're pointing at this coral hole trying to blame it. When we all know it's going to be a combination of solar winds and mostly plasma. So They've actually given the 17th a G1 KP5 index, the 18th 
a KP7 G3 geomagnetic storm. Crazy. And they're saying that the effects will linger into the 19th. So like I told you guys, starting tomorrow, and tomorrow's pretty soon here as far as UTC time. It starts at 6 p.m. tonight on the 16th. Geomagnetic storm watches are in effect for the 17th through the 19th of August due to coronal high-speed streams. They're saying due to this coronal hole, which is crap. It's all due to the explosions coming out of 3078. Sunspot AR 3078. We've seen explosion after explosion. And coronal mass ejection influences. A lengthy coronal high-speed stream is anticipated to affect Earth first on the 17th of August with likely G1 conditions. An escalation to G3 storm levels is now probable on the 18th of August due to several CMEs combining and beginning to arrive. That's exactly what I told y'all was happening. Conditions are anticipated to remain favorable for a G2 storm on August 19th. That's in three days, folks. So we're looking at three days of geomagnetic storms, and they're talking about very strong storms inbound. I'm going to go over the events here. First, we have to take into consideration our coronal stream or coronal hole that we've been watching for weeks. That's going to send solar winds towards Earth, and they should be starting to strike tomorrow. Then we're looking at this M-styled C flare that they think will actually catch some of these larger flares that occurred on the 15th starting with this other long-term C flare and then we had four M flares that was just yesterday and now today we've had a very very powerful flare uh, a C 5.2 I believe so this is what they're talking about impacting the planet again i believe august 17th could be a combination of this uh, cme right here and the solar winds that will start hitting now the solar winds because of the size or the width of the coral river or coral hole should not last but maybe 48 hours the real problem we have are all of these cmes that are associated with these solar flares and the fact that this one got larger and larger which means it might very well catch these and they're worried about this one here catching any of the previous ones before it i that was what the original cannibal cme warning was about they didn't even have this event when they put that warning out it's unbelievable. Y'all hold on for the ride of your lives, folks. Uh, if we happen to get an X flare, which we do have a percent chance of having today, then you can just lights out. It's going to be a hot summer. Please share. Please subscribe. Always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.